What's up guys? It's Missy. I'm back with another SimCity Build It video. And um, this topic is going to be kind of like a rant and changes I'd like to see to the game video. There's a lot of things that I think would benefit the game greatly to if the changes were made. So I hope that maybe the developers or the game makers or whoever's in charge fixes some of these issues. Now, a lot of people, um, the, fir the first thing that they say is they want to be able to search the global market. I disagree with that. And that is because this game is focused on items and making items. And if you were able to just search for them, it would be too easy. You know, you wouldn't, you wouldn't have any, epics wouldn't be of any challenge because you would just be able to go and search for the items you needed. You wouldn't need to increase your storage because you could, you wouldn't, there wouldn't be any reason to hold on to items for, um, if you end up needing them because you could just go search for them. You know, there's many reasons why that would potentially hurt the game. And one of the, uh, the very first change that I would make is the way that you are able to save your, your data. I think that having to, first off, having to go through the tutorial is tedious and ridiculous. Every time you install the game or you want to make a feeder city or whatever, you have to go through the tutorial, which is stupid. Okay. And I think that they would benefit if they would allow you to make an account with um, a username and password and then have be able to have several um, accounts on one main login. And that way you could kind of cycle through your feeder cities, transfer stuff, um, and basically also kind of cut down on the hacking because a lot of people wouldn't want, you know, their main account to be uh, banned, so to speak. So it could help in a lot of ways, actually. But, and with the account, that would also come into my next um, improvement that I would make or change I would make. And that would be allowing us to have a user profile. Maybe we could upload a picture or have a private messaging system, a voice messaging system even. Um, just the way that the groups work aren't very beneficial. And I think that, like, first off, one of the things that I've noticed with um, the groups is 25 members is a little low, considering you usually have about half little under half um, vice presidents. Now, that isn't a change that I would, you know, necessarily make a big deal about. But one of the things that's frustrating is the amount of characters that you're allowed to type into one main message. It's it only allows you to type so much. And then it also censors words that it really shouldn't censor. Sometimes you'll type a whole thing out that isn't even, you know, vulgar in any way. And it just throws up all these symbols and you're like, what the hell? You know what I mean? Like, that's stupid. Um, another thing is they should have a section that, uh, a larger section where we can type, because if you go to the, um, the group description, which you can click this little I up here, it allows you to give a brief description, but a lot of people don't read this. We need a section that allows us to give in more detail, like, what the rules are of the club, what the, the specifications are, what we expect out of our, our club mates. Now, the other thing that's frustrating is that in the tutorial, it doesn't teach you a lot of this stuff as far as like how to log out of a group, where to find the club code. The, a lot of people don't even know that, you know, you shouldn't global items, which, um, or how the advertising stuff works. They don't, understand that right off the bat takes them a minute to, to figure that one out and um that brings me to my next complaint and that would be that it shouldn't be automatic to um advertise in my opinion okay in my opinion when you go to post an item for sale you should it should automatically you know be off now I also think that you should be able to take items down without having to delete them, right? Because 
I mean, why not? You know, like, that's ridiculous. You should be able to bring your items back down. I also think they should up the amount of items that you can sell to 10 because five is a little low. Um, storage capacity definitely needs increased because for, and I know a lot of low level people, you know, they see people like me, they're high level and they look at it and they go, damn man, she's got 740 storage and I'm over here with like a hundred and, and I couldn't even imagine having that much storage, but really it, it really, you got to think of it as like inflation, right? So by the time you unlock all of these items, I mean, when you hit this little like emoji, I mean, look at this. By the time you unlock all these regional maps, all this stuff, look at all these items. Like, it's ridiculous. The war items should have their, se uh, no, their own separate storage similar to Omega. I know that because of hacking, they recently made it to where um, you can only post one war item for sale at a time. So I get that, and I get why that change was made. Um, it is still kind of frustrating, though, because we really don't have the, the space. Um, I don't know if any of you played Diablo 2 back in the 90s, but there was a trading system uh, where, like, let's say me and you are trading, and we would open up, like, a separate screen, and I would show what I wanted to trade in these boxes, and then you would show, and then we would both have to agree on it, and it would automatically send it to our inventory. I think that would be a good um, change to make, and that way it would cut back on people being able to just take items whenever they please. Uh, one of the other things that I noticed being president is removing people used to be a lot easier. You used to be able to just click the chat bubble and then hit remove, and when they brought up this menu, they took that feature away. So. Let's say that I'm out on global and I'm shopping around and someone's causing issues in my group. I actually have to go all the way back to my city and go to the members tab and click the three dots on the right to remove them. Whereas before I used to just be able to click their chat bubble and remove them. And this brings up my next one and that is blocking people. Okay. They have been people that have caused major issues. They're immature. They come in and they cuss everybody out and they create problems and they, they camp and they steal and you boot them. And yes, the game does have a feature where it doesn't allow you to see that group for, you know, like 10 to 15 minutes after being removed. However, they can still come in. They can change their name. And yes, we have ways to identify them you know, based off their, their population or their level or what maps they have unlocked, like we can kind of compare it. But over time, when there's several of them, and then, you know, as you know, people's population does change, their levels go up and so on, that person is able to come back in very easily. Whereas if we went back to my first complaint where we had our, you know, our account, most people wouldn't want to jeopardize an account that they maybe had a lot of time or money invested in. So I think that that would be a really, really, really good um, feature for SimCity to seriously consider. This isn't just, you know, somebody who's ranting about the game and the changes really wouldn't benefit or they would hurt the game greatly. Like, these are legit complaints. I've thought about this in a great deal, and I've been playing this game for several years now. I... I love the game. Uh, there's a lot of changes that I would make that I think would make this game have a huge um, fan base, so to speak. And one of them was that we needed more maps. Okay. And you did bring in the regional maps, which was awesome because when I had first started, I had my capital map here. And as you can see, um, you know, I have mine pretty well done and I had all of these buildings that I had purchased you know like uh, schools and whatnot specialization buildings and they were all in storage and I didn't have any space for them so you know it was great that you guys added those other maps however adding those other maps comes at a price you know when you unlock them as you know if you 
been watching my videos, they can they can hurt you greatly for your epic challenges, for your storage space, um, home upgrades, shipments. I mean, they they literally affect every aspect of your game. Uh, the regional HQs. I would make changes to that personally. I think it's kind of bullshit that um, we get such a little amount of currency back. I I think that we should get some kind of currency uh, taxes from those maps because these regional HQs, as you can see, I mean, 32, 18, and then 87, and then I get the 41. Once I complete three of these shipments, I'm able to purchase a larger amount, but that's with real money. And a lot of people, you know, they don't want to spend two ninety nine on two thousand regional currency, nor should they really have to. It, it, I know it's a free to play game, and I know that, you know, you guys have to get paid. And I'm all, I, I'm not against spending cash on games, but you kind of gotta ask yourself, you know, is it worth it? Like for example, I have three. I'll show you guys. I have three Maxis Manors, and they are the building that um, gives you f fire, health, police, all in one. It's a, it takes up four squares, and, you know, it's a great um, building. It really is. However, like, all, like a lot of buildings in this game, it goes up in price each time you buy it. So my, you can buy a total of eight. My fourth one is 8,000 cash. Okay, now, if you go over here and you look, look at the amount I would have to spend to buy one building. If I wanted to purchase it um, with real money, I would have to spend 100 bucks. That one building is a $100 building, and that is not right. For, that's not right. Now, a lot of people will say, you know, well, you can do the mayors, you can do the assignments and whatnot, and that's true. That is absolutely true. And the issue with that is, is for people that are of high level like myself, it is not easy to win the mayor's contest. In fact, it's pretty damn impossible to do so without spending the same amount of cash, if not more than what you're getting uh, reimbursed, so to speak. Um, and then, you know, you get in, in there and you get a lot of hackers that are level 99. Um, but you could easily end up, and that's a lot of the reason why I stopped doing calm is because of the amount, the, the competition is ridiculous when you're up high levels, okay? Because, um, I mean, how do I say this? Let's say that the, re the reward for the, let's go over here, just a sec here. So the Mega League, if you can hit first, and the competition, I would say, gets um, drastically intense. I would say around level 55 is where I started to notice a, a real increase in the competition. Um, now, this is 2000, so you got to think. I would have to win two, four, six, eight, four times. I would have to win the Mega to be able to afford that. Now, out of those four times... That would mean I would save every penny of cash that I received. That's not going to happen, okay? You know as well as I do that if you're hitting the Mega League and you're above level 55, you're spending at a minimum of 600 cash, at minimum, because you're paying for those flights to come back. You're paying for those shipments to come back. You're not sitting there for, for you know, 18 hours between flights and wasting a day and a half on one 3,000 point assignment, you're not doing it. You're paying. I don't care what you say, you're paying the 20 damn dollars. And if you are waiting, then you're hurting yourself because then you have to make up all that time where you were basically doing nothing for a day and a half and calm. When you're in the mega league, you have like, I don't know, 60 assignments plus the 15 tickets. So yeah, it's, uh, it's ridiculous. You, you don't get what you put in out. Very rarely do you. And the hackers, they piss me off because they can just make an, an unlimited amount of cash. So why are they coming in and ruining it for people that are actually playing the game? Like, you don't need to win because you can just make, 
you know, you can give yourself max coins, max cash, max everything. So why do you have to be in first place? You're not even benefiting. You know what I mean? Like, it's just to be an ass. So if you're one of those people, you're an ass. Um, excuse my language, but there's no other reason for it. The other super frustrating thing is when you're doing war like myself and you have this blue shield around your your screen here. This means that you have basically you've been killed. Your city, the health of your city is completely gone and that you have to fully repair before that shield will go away. I understand that they did this because they wanted to um, they wanted to irritate people enough to repair. So, I mean, I get that, but it is still kind of annoying. Um, I also think that the Omega stuff is that, like, it's way too hard to complete. Like, the fact that these canisters cost seven grand and you can get anywhere from a tiny one to a large one is ridiculous. Um, the buildings themselves, the fact that they go up in price each time you purchase them, that is... That's not right. Like, they should cap out at some point, you know? And it also, I think you should be able to store your service, your services, because <clears throat> when you, if you've watched my videos, you know that epic buildings require less service demand. So at one point, you're, you're, you have regular homes that require a lot more services. So you purchase more services. Then once you convert those homes to epics, the service demand goes down. So now you have all these extra services that you don't need. And if you bulldoze them, you only get half your money back. But you should be able to store them and place them on other maps. At least the Omega ones. Maybe not the other ones, but the Omega ones. And the reason I say that is because each one of these goes up 10,000 Neo Simoleons each time you purchase one. So... <laughs> if I have, sorry, <laughs> if I have five on my, my capital map here and I want to go and purchase just one on one of my regionals, it's going to cost me 60000 to put one on that map. That's not right. And if it is going to be like that, you should at least start it over for that map. Like it should start at ten grand on that map. Um, let's see, what else? The way that we design our cities the way that we have to place water i think is ridiculous i think we should be able to pick up um larger quantities or maybe enter like even the older sim cities like the sim the sims the actual sims how you go into a separate building menu and you can like draw and stuff like you draw walls and things like that you should be able to do that with the water and the trees i think you should also be able to um change the terrain, I think. You should be able to kind of elevate the ground the way that you could in the older Sim cities. Some newer buildings, like nice ones, like put some effort into it. You guys are charging us four ninety nine for a mayor's pass, right? And I'm I buy it every month. Or, you know, every however many months we do a mayor's pass. Um, I will purchase it. And many of us do. Okay. And it seems as though the buildings have very little detail. So, like, if you look at the older ones, I mean, that that's a pretty cool-looking building, right? <laughs> yeah, it's large, but it's got some, some design to it. And I'm not even saying that the buildings have to be large, but just kind of, I don't know, put some effort into it. If you look at, like, the new ones, it's kind of hard to, to tell. Um, but... If you guys are playing, you know, look at how tiny these are and look at how just plain they are. You know what I mean? They could do really cool stuff. I think they could make some really nice waterfalls, some fountains. Like, imagine, uh, imagine something similar to like this casino park, but about this size and it being a fountain. Space Needle. I mean, I'm from Washington. You know, I'm a fan of the Space Needle. I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> There's a lot of uh, monuments that you guys could make, a lot of buildings, famous buildings, uh, billboards. How about a billboard? Uh, I know you guys allow us to do the name along our mountain, which is great. But like this, for example, you know, you guys see that a lot of people that are into de designing their city 
<coughs> that, uh, sorry, I keep clearing my throat, but they, give me just a sec here. <coughs> All right. They, um, a lot of people do this to make it, you know, look like the water is running towards the beach. Now, it's pretty obvious that that is very popular, right? So I would suggest making stuff similar to that. You know what I mean? Um, maybe allow us to collect an infinite amount of our tokens that we, <laughs> we earned. Okay, like these epics, yeah, they're easy when you know what you're doing, but they still, they still cost a lot, all right? And I, it used to be five. You used to only be able to collect five. And by collect, I mean collect off the top of your building. You can have more than five if you earn them in your uh, rewards or like those gold chests that come up. But you can only collect five, or you used to be able to. They increased it to 35. Well, I think that it should be an infinite amount, personally. Um, another thing that's like, super frustrating is that your taxes don't build up over time. I think that it should go a little longer than a day, maybe not necessar necessarily um, forever. You know, like if you don't play for six months, you shouldn't be able to come in and collect six months worth of currency. But you should be able to collect maybe two, three days worth, right? Because sometimes, you know, we get busy with life and we don't come on every 24 hours. Um, I think you guys should put a timer up that shows when our next token is actually going to be available. What else? What else? Oh, the way that you purchase things, like the cash, you should have to confirm that because I can't tell you, and I know you guys have all been through it too, how many times I have been playing the game, accidentally clicked, maybe you go to, you know, collect something like that, and you accidentally purchase an electrical piece with cash, and it costs like 60 some odd cash or something. It's ridiculous. Well, a few months back, I had fallen asleep, and I play a lot at night, and um, I had fallen asleep, and I had accidentally hit, um, oops, not that one. I had accidentally hit this one here, and I I accidentally hit 300 cash for 19,000 coins. This is a joke, okay? It is. The, the currency for the, like, the cash to coin ratio is an absolute ripoff. If you guys were wondering, it is. It is a ripoff. Don't ever, ever, ever buy it. Um, you can make that in no time, okay? Like, 300 cash is hard to come by. Even if you're spending real money. Like, that's ridiculous, okay? Um, let's see what else. I know I've got a lot of changes that I think that the, the game should make, but I mean, a private, like I said, a private messaging system. Um, what else? I think that you guys would, I mean, or us, we would benefit if we... We're able to, um, how do I explain this? Sorry, give me a sec here. Okay, so when you're traveling to somebody's city, right? And you get there and your storage is full. We've all done it. And you've got like, you know, one space or, you know, whatever. Um, it's super frustrating. Right? You're, you're on global and you're trying to, I don't know, you're trying to buy something and then you come across like 80 storage pieces and you're just, you got like three space and it's just a, it's a kick to the nuts. <laughs> it really is. Um, but it seems as though that never happens when you have space, right? I swear the game is mocking us, <laughs> okay? Like it knows <laughs> and the algorithm needs some improvement, we, us higher level people, um, we need to be able to find rares too. And maybe you guys, I, and I know a lot of you um, have noticed that there will be a time where 
for like two months, you find nothing but storage cameras, right? And then you're real scarce on like locks and bars. And then it'll switch up and it'll be like dozer wheels, okay? I I don't know why. I, I mean, I know it happens. It's not just in our head. It happens a lot. And once it switches over to like, you know, locks, then you have, you can upgrade your storage three times with the bars that you have, but you don't have anywhere near the amount of locks. So that's what's so frustrating about the, the smaller amount of storage space, space is because when you get up there, it's 75 storage pieces to unlock five space. Now, how often do you have an equal amount of those storage pieces? Not very often. Some, most time you have like, you know, 47 bars and, you know, you just bought your last camera with um, 18 cash to make up for the 25 that you needed. So that being said, with along with the raw materials, which are these materials here, plus the items in the game, plus war, plus regional, dozer, beach, mountain, you know what I mean? Like we need more storage space. I know they did recently increase it and you do get 20 per map that you unlock. However, that 20 that you get per map to unlock, it, it doesn't really benefit. It, I mean, it helps, it, anything helps, but you're, you just unlocked a whole nother bunch of drama for yourself. Uh, I think that, I mean, I know there's still like a lot of stuff I want to change, but, or would like to see change. Um, I can't really think of it at the moment. If you guys think of anything that you want to add, please put it in the comments. Um, I'm just hoping that this reaches the right people maybe someday and they realize that, you know, a lot of people feel the same way as I do and that the game would would benefit more. Oh, that was the thing I would change. Um, when you guys are putting an item for sale, like having to go down like this is ridiculous. You should be able to just go immediately down or immediately um, to, well, you, you can go immediately to max, but immediately down and not have to sit there forever holding the button down. You know what I mean? Uh, let's see. Yeah, if, I mean, if you guys have anything that you you want to add in there that you think would be a, a good change, um, please, I'm all for listening to your guys' ideas. Um, that pretty much honestly covers it. I mean, I can't really think of anything at the, the moment. Um, yeah, so I'm going to go ahead and end this video. And I'd like to hear you guys' feedback. If you haven't already, go ahead and like and subscribe. If you have anything that you want me to talk about or you need my help with, I am willing to... I try to get back to everybody in the comments. You know, I don't have a whole lot of subscribers yet um, or people necessarily commenting. So... I'm able to get back to you guys. If I don't get back to you, it's not personal. I just don't see it or whatever. So um, try to, I don't know, get my attention somehow if you guys need me to. If it's just a question that's very brief, I'll just answer it in the comments. But if it's something that I feel a lot of people ask or would benefit from me making a video, then I will. Uh, it's kind of hard to... to pick topics that I think would benefit and it becomes kind of um, difficult to say, you know, what I want to say without constantly repeating myself because I know a lot of you have watched all of my videos and I know a lot of the stuff that I say in one video, I have to cover that same topic in my next video so that if that person hasn't seen my previous video, that they know what I'm talking about. So. You know, if I'm being repetitive, I apologize. I'm just trying to be thorough in helping you guys. So as you can see, once again, my phone is out of storage space. I'm going to go ahead and get this video out for you guys. And um, until next time.